All right, welcome back. In today's video, we're going to talk about GPU prices. Yeah, the GPU prices, man. The GPU prices are dropping to the lowest since early 2021. NVIDIA RTX 3080 Ti, 3070 Ti fall to $200 and $100 respectively within the MSRP. So that is good news. We have been talking about this for the past few months that there is a trend, a trend downwards, mainly looking at Newegg, StockX, Amazon, and eBay. Uh, I don't really look at Best Buy too much. I don't know why. They, if you can get something on Best Buy, get it, but sometimes you have to go pick it up. I don't know how much longer Best Buy will actually have brick and mortar stores. Yeah, I think the only thing that has saved Best Buy in the past two years has been GPU and console sales. Yeah, that's it. Amazon, Amazon usually has a typical has typically the highest prices, and the reasoning for this is sellers are mostly third party. It's not direct Amazon for the most part, and uh, the uh, sellers have to jack their prices up, and maybe scalper prices, mainly just to cover the uh, huge fees that Amazon 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 charges its sellers, and if you do find a GPU that is being sold direct from Amazon, it's almost a fair price. You really have to look, and sometimes in our Discord here, in the old Discord, uh, let's go to my Discord right here with the little Rocco Taco. You can see my GPU prices, prices, the listings of new stuff that's coming out from Newegg, Amazon, Butt Buy, and um, not so much eBay. eBay is still kind of the higher price too as well, second to Amazon. I always look on Newegg, but you have to watch Newegg. They sometimes will put a used item out there. So you have to check the listing. Make sure you don't say, oh my gosh, what a great price. And then it's used shipping from China. Watch that. You don't want that. It'll take months to get your GPU. And then you're going to get it and it's used. So don't do it. Read the details. Use your brain. Point of the channel here is to use your critical thinking skills on everything. Everything across your the life. Your life. The life. Your life. The board. Uh, don't just believe every crappy thing you see on the internet, man. I'm just trying to warn you folks. It's so easy just to click and buy and you're like, oh, that's not what I wanted. Well, did you read the small print? Did you do your research? Same with buying crypto. Do your research. Just because someone says buy Dogecoin, don't just buy Dogecoin. Because look at the thing. It's like 15 cents. All right. Anyway, let's go back to the article we sidetrack. All right. Uh, where is the article? So they are saying things are dro uh, dropping. We did notice that. StockX has one of the better sites where you can see what people are um, bidding on to get a GPU and what they are actually sold for, not what they were listed as. Like on eBay isn't really an accurate tracker, even though they have a research tab for sellers to see what has been selling. You can see the prices and it's not always accurate because people may have bid on it but never paid and it never sold. A lot of scammy buyers out there who just outbid stuff but never pay or they make an account the same day and they never really intend to buy it. It's kind of it's kind of crappy platform. So uh, eBay is like a last ditch effort next to uh, selling locally. But then selling locally has its risk. And if you do sell locally, always do it in the lobby of a police station just to be safe, guys. Just be safe if you're selling PlayStations, GPUs, these are high ticket items, hard to get items, and there's some there's some real bad people out there. So you got to be safe. Uh, yeah, risk is the is the risk worth it? I like someone to a middleman sometimes if you can, and you get a little bit less, but boom, you get your money and it's clean and done, and you walk away happy. All right, let's go through this. Oh, they're talking about the 39, 38, 30, 70. Kingpin for the win, XC3 Hybrid, Hybrid Cooper, okay. Graphics card prices have continued to sink through the last two to four weeks, reaching the lowest point since the early days of 2021. Blammo! Both NVIDIA and AMD GPUs are now being sold at a 25% premium over MSRP. Way, way, way too high right now to get your ROI, man. Just, I'm, I'm not buying right now. I'm watching. And if something really pops up, I might get it. But I'd like to get a 3080s Founder Edition, 3070 Founder Edition. But those are very hard. They're like unicorns. It's hard to find them. Uh, 
Hard to find like a unicorn and a good woman. Uh, yeah. With June 2022 being the month when prices finally returned to normal for good, over the last three months, graphics card prices have dropped by 10 to 20% each month, going from being 185% over the MSRP. Wow. Back in January to just 125% over the MSRP at present. Uh, yeah. The 3070 Ti, 3080Ti are the best-selling graphics cards. I do not like the 3070 Ti. They run hot. The memories run hot. I even replaced the thermal pads, the thermal paste. These things run hot. And sometimes they crash. I have to keep fine-tuning them. And this is all mining Ethereum. I don't mine any other coin right now. I have my whole rigs, 1.2 giga hash, mining Ethereum because Ethereum is going to go away. I want to get as much Ethereum, much Ethereum as I can before it's gone. Yeah. Both these GPUs are going uh, relatively affordable prices considering the state of the market. The uh, 3070 Ti recently fell to 700 bucks, still over MSRP of 599. Oh, uh, let's see, a while back, but that deal has run dry. Now the cheapest 3070 Ti would cost you 829. Wow, okay, 229 more than MSRP. I don't know why you buying that. Oh, here we got some prices. Where are they? I don't know who they're listing on here. Uh, I can't recognize the site. Yeah, there you go, 829 for a 3070 Ti. Here's some prices here, 3070 Ti dropping. Look at what it used to cost, holy crap. Now it's down to 870, and here is the 3080 dropping down. Still way too high, guys. You gotta think about your ROI, especially for mining. Are you gonna drop that much money and then not get it back when Ethereum goes away and no new coin comes up to take its place to uh, give you that uh, profitability and uh, yeah, you just got to be careful, man. All right, let's see. They're dropping. Just keep waiting. Just keep waiting. Here's 39. I would not buy a 3090. Too much, too many eggs in one basket, man. Too much power to use on that card. It gives you hash rate, but geez, that's a lot of money to sink in one card. Uh, let's see. Say it breaks, you got to return it to the manufacturer. You're going to be out of luck. It's going to be out of, out of, of um, off the offline for months to, to get that card back. All right, they're just 6,800 XTs, uh, 3090s again. Everything's dropping. I like when people do articles like this. I give this guy credit. Good article. He puts graphs out there. We are all visual. We're not really text. We're visual. We see things. That's how we've been for millions of years, visual. And we can see the data right away with a trending uh, line graph. Love it. So, guys, just hold out. Prices are coming down. I'm watching. I keep my Discord up. I keep it updated. It runs automatic. Uh, I know that resellers are out there using retail bots, which I've used to get graphics cards. They said there's not much out there, which is not a good sign. But when they do get them, they get a bunch of them, but they're bricks, like a 3080 Ti. A brick being they purchase a, the car for 1200 bucks, but then they know they're not going to be able to sell it for that price. I mean, they're going to barely break even if that. They're going to lose money. Brick. Really, they're going to lose money. That's why they call it a brick. Uh, so they know that prices are coming down. Middlemen aren't out there to buy them. Uh, they're going to be stuck with all these GPUs sitting in their living room, and that's going to make them a little panicked to uh, get their money back, and they may just be willing to take offers. And that's why StockX is nice. You just go in and put your offer in. If you don't need the card, just put a low offer in. You might get it. You might not. Just keep trying. That's the way I do it. And uh, I haven't hit because I'm not going to pay outlandish prices. Uh, yeah, watch out for eBay. Watch out for Amazon because they are definitely high prices. Just do not click buy and then be sorry later. All right, that is all I got. Prices are coming down. More people are writing about it. Uh, we're still in March, March 29th. I'm just thinking wait till the middle April, end of April, maybe you'll get a decent pricing. And availability is right now there. It's, that's, that's almost the first sign of supply demand, right? The supply is there. The demand is dropping because the prices were too high. The supply increases making people like lower the prices to move the item out of stock, to just move their inventory, and that benefits the buyer. Uh, yeah. I don't know. I like the lower end cards just because they're like 300, 400 bucks, like a 1660 Ti, 1660 Super, six, uh, what's the other one? 6600 XT. I like, I like those cards for some reason, but I would go to what to mine and see which cards can mine which coin. Uh, Going ahead with the idea that Ethereum will go away. What are you going to do with those cards? Will they be profitable? Just got to be thinking about money, money, money. Unless you like throwing money away. 
if you like just throwing the money away and rolling, just buy the coins directly and not buy the GPUs. That's the way I look at it. Well, I want to drop 5,000 bucks in GPUs. Well, you know, if you day trade, or not even day trade, just go right to cryptocurrency here. Well, if I drop 5,000 bucks in Ethereum and hold it, it may this thing may shoot up to 5,000 bucks. Bam, you got your money right away. No ROI. You got to weigh the pros and cons, right? That's the way I look at it. Uh, if you got a nice rig set up, you're happy, go with that. But if you just want to uh, avoid an ROI and you're not sure about GPU prices and if uh, mining will be profitable, I think you're better off just buying the coins through an exchange, sticking them in a staking wallet where you're getting interest on your uh, crypto you hold, and then you're getting passive income. That might be the better model coming up. I'm not sure. I don't know. I'm still going through it. I am still profitable on Ethereum getting my ROI back. I'm still, it's going to be a, probably a while yet. Uh, maybe a little over a year. I bet the end of this year I might break even, depending on what happens with Ethereum. Uh, yeah. All right, guys, go forth. Do great things. Keep mining. Let me know what you're doing. Are you getting graphics cards? Are you bailing? Are you dumping your rigs? What is happening? I have no idea. I think people are now looking at getting better LHR hash rates on their cards from software miners like LLL Miner, who is uh, has a Linux version out, which will give you more mega hash if you have a crappy LHR card. But I don't really think they're crappy because I use T-Rex Miner and I do get 90 mega hash mining Ethereum on my 3080 Ti's. So there you go. There you go. Always doubt but verify, right? Listen to people, use it for entertainment, but go make your own decisions, right? Right. All right, man. Go forward to great things. I am out. Blammo. All right. Goodbye.